Good morning, it is now day seven. I can't believe it's already the seventh day in the Disney park. So it's halfway through my time at Disney. Today I'm going back to Animal Kingdom to finish off the rides and the shows that I didn't do during my first trip. It's actually gonna be my final visit to Animal Kingdom, I think, which is crazy that there's already a final happening, which is bonkers. This morning, I was a little bit miffed still about Sabi's workshop and that whole kerfuffle, but I've woken up and I was like, right, I'll get a, Safari Genie Plus, that'll be perfect. I didn't get to do that last time, that'll be amazing. Genie Plus isn't working now, guys. <laughs> it's no fun. I had heard that there is a glitch to do with people from the UK who have bought it for the length of their stay. That isn't something they offer anymore, but if you have added that onto your trip next year, just be aware there is this glitch where after some time it just suddenly goes, you don't have Genie Plus anymore. So I'm gonna have to go to guest services and hopefully have them sort that out. I'm hoping it will be quick and easy, but um, yeah, it's not the greatest start, <laughs> especially because I'm still a little bit miffed about Salvi's workshop. So then to wake up and have another problem and have to go back to guest services isn't great, but hopefully it won't take too long. There's guest services at the entrance of the parks. So as soon as I go into Animal Kingdom, I'll just go straight there and hopefully it can get resolved. I'm gonna go see the Festival of the Lion King and then I'll also have a Tiffin's reservation, which I'm super excited for. So let's get ready for the day and head off. I am super glad that I actually bought my big calf kitchen backpack because I have brought a slightly smaller backpack with me and that was perfect for yesterday, like going to the outlet. But for the parks, having all of the things with me, like a bottle of water, the poncho, the umbrella, the fan, all of those things, they take up quite a lot of room. So it's been amazing having a backpack that's big enough for all of them. And I can also fit my camera in when it starts raining. So that has been absolutely perfect. I don't know how people do it with a one bag. I look at them and I'm in awe, but I think I can't, I can't imagine not having the poncho in the umbrella. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm, it, it's annoying having a big bag, but I'm thankful that I've got it because I don't think I could cope without those things. Oh. So first things first, I'm going to go to guest relations and get this Genie Plus issue sorted out. Okay, so while I was waiting in the queue, I thought I'll get my Disney experience open to try and show the issue. And once I was in the park, it was letting me book Genie Plus. So it might be one of these things that on the way out, I might speak to them just because obviously if you want to book at 7am can't kind of do that but um i've been able to book a genie plus for the safari now so hopefully fingers crossed it's working let's see what happens so something that i would like to do is to come back in the evening because i've never ever been in pandora with the bioluminescence i think that'll be super fun but I'm super conscious that again today from 1pm it's meant to rain. Now luckily both Flight of Passage and Navi River are indoors but obviously they will get super busy and super long and there's not many places to kind of sit down that are indoors or covered. So I don't know whether to do them during the day just in case I don't manage to come back to the park in the evening and then if I do come back bonus try and go on them again. So maybe that's the plan, just in case, because if this is my last day in this park, you want to kind of go on Narvi River and maybe Flight of Passage again. So I might do that, just, just to be safe. Walking across this bridge and seeing the Tree of Life is always so stunning. It's so, so massive. Love all the carving. And you know, as soon as you see the tree, you're properly in an animal kingdom. On the way in, I'm just going to have a quick look in Island Mercantile and see what they have. Oh, I do love the orange bird. <laughs> do I buy a teeny tiny one? Because he's very, very cute. I also have two cats at home, so the chances of him staying my plush and not becoming theirs is very slim. Love this shirt. This is super cute. They also have the actual tin versions of the bag that I bought yesterday. I bought the handbag version of this yesterday in the outlet shop and it was $35, it was half price instead of $70, which is perfect, but they do sell these tin versions. So Vans have just bought out a whole range of apparel and some new shoes. 
I'm super glad I came in here because I was looking for the retro 50th anniversary merch and it seems like this shop has it, which is super exciting. They also have lots and lots of electrical parade merchandise. Obviously this is from Disneyland, but it's still very exciting. This shop is packed to the rafters with 50th anniversary merch, which is so exciting to see. This is the place I'm going to be coming back to for sure. Absolutely love this. It's so cute. This shop has a really, really nice range of merchandise. It has things from Animal Kingdom and Pandora, things like that, but also all the 50th anniversary merch. It's got Pixar. It's got a bit of everything. So proper loving this shop and it's super spacious. So unlike World of Disney, where you're fighting your way through, here you just have a nice look around. So the temperature at the moment is a bit cooler than other days, but it is quite humid. So I, I think I prefer it hotter with no humidity. <laughs> I love that I'm getting fussy now. I'm like, guys, if we could just change the temperature. <laughs> but I feel like it's because there is this storm coming, so the humidity will probably dissipate once that's happened. One of the things that was talked about during the Keys to the Kingdom tour was about the ways Disney transition you subtly between the different lands. And it's so interesting now going to the different parts and kind of experiencing that and seeing that for yourself. And um, it's just so, so well done. Like it was amazing. As soon as you step into Pandora, you get all the different noises, the foliage and plants change. And it's just really cool that it's subtle, but it kind of then it turns into this whole new world. It is amazing how this is basically like a floating island in the sky. I thought I'd watch the program on Disney Plus where Joe Rody talked about how they achieved this and it's just so impressive how they built this land. Pandora is just so beautiful and lush. You could just spend ages taking photographs of the different weird plants and things that you see. So it's amazing to come here. Like it's such a beautiful land. Something that's really funny is the poncho that I bought with me is actually Harry Potter. So it's like designed like the robes that they wear in the school. I got it in Primark, love it. But I, it feels almost illegal to be wearing it in Disney. I'm so conscious of like, everyone else has got Disney ponchos on and I'm like, oh, oh, I know technically this is a different park, although I didn't buy it in Universal, but it definitely feels like you're doing something illegal. <laughs> so I was very lucky to be able to get a DAS pass for Navi River Journey. I really enjoyed that last time. So I've just come over here, had a little sit down, and now it's gonna be time to go on that. Again, I'm hoping to come back in this evening and ride it in the evening and see what it's like. I can't wait to see everything lit up. But um, if I don't get to come back and I do something else, at least I've ridden it one more time. So it is time to now go back on Navi River Journey. This is cool. I don't like Avatar at all, but this is cool. <laughs> right? It's so true. It's so true. camera's awful, honestly. Yeah. it was actually open but it was like a 120 minute wait the whole trip so we never went on it and a lot of people have kind of said oh it's not that good so i was like mm, i don't really want to take the risk of waiting that long if it's not great but i think it's so great it's so immersive and um it's just a really nice relaxing river journey you feel like you're in actually pandora and this is what i think is amazing if you look at something like this land pandora and galaxy's edge the immersive the immersion and how highly themed they are if this is the direction disney are going it's really incredible because they are 
unbelievably good. I was talking to a man in the queue in front of me and he was saying, nobody, no one's favorite film is Avatar. And it was one of those films that lots of people went to see because it was the first film in the new version of 3D. But no one's a big fan. And the fact that we know what, we're gonna have five films, I mean, no one wants that. But if you don't like Avatar or you've never seen it, you will still be absolutely blown away with this land because it is absolutely beautiful and incredible. So my foot is doing okay at the moment. I have noticed that now that we're like seven days into the park, I'm needing to do like a lot more breaks, a lot more massage, a lot more of my roller um, because it is getting kind of tired and fatigued. Luckily, it's not the terrible pain where you kind of can't stand, can't walk. Um, but what I'm gonna do today is I'm just gonna focus on the left side of the park. So the things that I hadn't done, like Festival of the Lion King and the Safari are all kind of in the same area, which is perfect because it means I won't be doing as much walking. And um, I'm gonna do what I've been doing, have a little afternoon break in the room and that should help massively. So over by Tiffin's and if you are on your way into Pandora, be sure to look to the left because there is this fantastic photo wall. It's kind of actually a cast member entrance to backstage at Animal Kingdom, but they've made this amazing photo wall. It's a great place to come and get some shots of you in Animal Kingdom. After my trip to Walgreens yesterday where I finally found some drama mine, I have taken some this morning. I'm hoping for the safari, things like that, and flight of passage if I do get to go on it again. I've heard so many good things about it. So thank you to everyone recommending it to me. And um, I think it's gonna help massively and hopefully I'll eventually get on guard against with it. God, can you hear that looking? I've been sat here in Harambe because I've got a safari reservation but not for half an hour so I'm having a little sit down and um, the building next to me, someone keeps knocking from the inside and obviously it's a special effect but I'm like, did someone get stuck in here last night and they've been in there all evening? A man walked past and went, let's hope that's not an animal trying to get out and it's a good point. It's just a very polite gorilla being like, can you please let me come out please? I really love all the little details if you look at the little posters and signs that are up because it really makes it feel like a real thing. I've now put my ears on. I washed my hair this morning. I was like, oh, it'll dry really quickly in the heat and then it's not very hot today, so that was an error. But I put my ears on to look a little bit more, more Disney. I'm gonna go into Mombasa Marketplace on the way to the safari. Um, I always like looking in the shop and they seem to have a lot of like park specific merch. I really like this backpack, that's so cool. If you're a fan of the Lion King, this is awesome. Oh, Guys, yeah. I think I found the ultimate sun hat. Okay, yeah. You can also get loads of cool figurines and even the Tree of Life all relating to this park, which is fantastic. And um, this is what it looks like inside. So it is now time to go on Kilimanjaro Safari. I'm super happy that I managed to get a Genie Plus reservation for it because it's currently a 115 minute wait. So very lucky to be able to go in the lightning lane for this. Our draft was free. every day. An ostrich, feathers, wings don't fly. It can run about 40 miles an hour. You see the goal of conservation is to balance the needs of humans and the needs of animals. 
The safari was amazing as always. They do tend to say mornings or evenings are better because it's a bit cooler so the animals can be a bit more active. So I'm heading over to see the Lion King. Now, but on my way, I think I'm gonna stop to get a snack. I'd like something savory, but I do know that there is a um, Scar Scar's Lair and Simba Sunset Dole Whip treat, so that might be what I end up getting. So I've got a Scar's Lair, which is the pineapple Dole Whip with the sour apple syrup. I'm very excited to try one. The sourness does make you go like, but I really like sour things. So the pineapple and the apple together are really good. This is actually my first dog whip of the trip, and it's just as good. It's super creamy and delicious. Very much enjoying it. So the scars layer was super super nice. I really enjoyed the flavour. They I also do a drink called the Simba Sunset, and that is pineapple dog whip with the strawberry syrup. So if you fancy that, you can also get them with alcohol. So lots and lots of things you could try at Tamu Tamu. Refreshments in Harambe. And I'll just turn to the corner and now on the way to see the Festival of the Lion King. Love this show. I think the full version is now back, which is super exciting. So gonna go and enjoy watching that. King was brilliant as always. It has acrobatics, fire, knives, amazing costumes, incredible singers. If you love The Lion King, definitely don't miss the show. I actually think it's the best show in this park. I prefer it over the Nemo show. It's such a classic and I'm so glad I got to see a full version. I'm now walking the back way to get into Pandora. So if you come out of the Festival of the Lion King and instead of going back into Harambe, you go the other way to the right of the theatre, you can go to Pandora this way. Adventure is out there. back in Pandora. I've managed to get a reservation for Flight of Passage. So I've managed to do everything I want to do in this park. I do have a lunch reservation. But basically, if I don't come back this evening, I have managed to achieve everything I want to do in this park, which has been fantastic. So let's go and do Flight of Passage one more time. When I went there the other day, this ride did make me feel a little bit unwell. I've taken the Dramanine today and um, I am a bit hungry again, so I think that was the problem last time. <laughs> but right after this is lunch, so very excited. And it's just such a beautiful ride. Like, if you can go on it, don't miss out because it is incredible. Please enter all the way into the room and stand on the number you were given. Decon? Check. Amazing Navi Rite of Passage flying on the back of this powerful animal called an Ikron, or as we call it, a Banshee. The way you're going to do this is by being matched to something called an Avatar. Flight of Passage is always such a beautiful ride. Again, even with these new tablets, I did feel a little bit sick. Um, so yeah, I'm really unsure about what to do about Guardians, because I, I do want to try it, it looks so cool. But I absolutely hate feeling sick, I have like a phobia of being sick. So it's like the worst nightmare, so... We'll see how it goes, but for now I'm heading to Tiffin's. I have a lunch reservation. So excited, I've always wanted to eat here. So let's go there. So I 
am now here in Tiffin's. It is a really beautiful restaurant. There are four, three main rooms and each of them has artwork and artifacts from the different countries represented in Animal Kingdom Park. I got very excited because I've already seen some of Joe Rody's sketchbooks from when he travelled to these countries and as we all know by now, Joe Rody is one of my favourite Disney Imagineers and he designed this park. So it's very exciting to go and look around and see all the artwork and some more of his sketches. So the menu here serves food from the different countries represented in this park. So for a starter, I have gone for some tacos and I've got a North African spiced tofu, which I'm so excited to try. So this, this uh, restaurant's going quite up my alley, so I'm very excited to be here. So to start with, I have the plant-based Tinga tacos. I don't really know what Tinga is. Very excited to try these, they smell absolutely incredible, so let's dive in. Mm -hmm. The tacos are incredible, there's a little tiny bit of spice, which is delicious, and all of the other flavours are super super fresh. So if you are vegan coming here, definitely don't skip in these because they're amazing. So my main course has arrived, it's the North African Spiced Tofu. There is so many vegetables and greens on here and it smells incredible. So in Tiffins there are three main rooms and each of them are designed on a different country of the park and they have the artwork and inspiration that Joe Rody and the Imagineers had for Animal Kingdom. So we're going to have a look around. It's so exciting seeing all of this. So what is in the Africa room and this room here is the main gallery and the totem poles in the middle were actually the inspiration for the Tree of Life and they were all hand hard in Bali. I have just finished my meal at Tiffin's. It was outstanding. I don't know I keep saying everything's been the best thing I've ever eaten. So I will eventually do a review of what the actual best things were <laughs> instead of just saying everything was amazing. But it was so good. If you are looking for loads and loads of veggies, for whole foods, no foam meat, just super tasty, great food, then come to Tiffin's. Both the courses I had were absolutely incredible. Packed full of vegetables, just amazing flavors. Nothing was like super spicy. There was a little, bit of spice to the taco but it was like the perfect amount and it's so good and also if you're a fan of Joe Rody or the Imagineers that built this park definitely go inside because you get to see their notebooks their hand drawings of things they saw when they went to Asia and Africa and the regions that they took as inspiration for this park so if you're a fan definitely go in here because you get to go and see all these amazing galleries the artwork, the artifacts, is absolutely incredible. And just like that, I've finished in Animal Kingdom. I can't believe I've only been to this park for two days of this trip, and I haven't done a full day in either of them. And um, I've managed to get absolutely everything I want to do, which is fantastic. I must say, Genie Plus has helped out massively, and that has really, really been amazing because I've been able to get in much shorter queues, so I've managed to get everything done. I've also had some amazing food here, so Tuli Canteen and Tiffin's were both really, really good. So I'm now going to go back to the resort, hang out for a little bit, and then I'm going to go to Disney Springs this evening i think i'm going to try and go to the cinema originally i was going to do it tomorrow but i'm going to do food and wine tomorrow so maybe i'll have a longer day in epcot eating everything <laughs> and then i'll go to disney springs tonight and uh go to see a film i love going to the cinema when i'm abroad so very excited for that golly once you come out here it's so much hotter than it was in the park you take for granted that shade that the trees give you but it's super super hot now i can also see some black clouds forming so it looks like there is going to be a storm soon so i think going to the cinema will be absolutely perfect so i've been at my resort for a little while now i am going to go over to intermission food court and get something for dinner and take it back to the room i'm probably going to get either the plant-based tuna sandwich or the plant-based tuna salad bring it back to the room later on i'm going to head into disney springs to go to the cinema it is raining no surprises there <laughs> um so I'm gonna, before I go into the cinema, right next to it is Everglazed and they do a vegan purple oob donut, which I wanna get. 
and they also do a chai tea latte that can be very vegan so i'm gonna get that and possibly after the cinema i might go to salt and straw because again it's right next to it and if you're there you might as well have a little look so i think this is a good rainy day activity so let's go get some food now got a very violent umbrella <laughs> oh typical just like go out it starts to really get rainy but such is fine i'm hoping that maybe the rain isn't as bad today that might be wishful thinking i feel like this is the start they did say it was going to start about this time and carry on to probably about eight or nine so probably wishful thinking to think maybe this will be as bad as it gets but if i get my food now and i can go back to the room and then just relax until i have to go to the cinema it's not to be like 6 30 film so it'll be the perfect activity and i'll go grab a little chai tea latte and donut on the way in so i have to say i've really enjoyed this resort i am staying at one of the farthest blocks away from the lobby and the cafeteria and stuff but it's still maximum five minute walk so it's a really nice resort slice when i had breakfast it was really good they've got some nice options for dinner so it's got kind of everything you could need a little shop lots of parking you have the free buses if you would like to use them there's a pool there's actually two pools i haven't used either of them yet but um yeah it's, it's a really really good resort and it's one of the value resorts so if you are looking for a more budget friendly place to stay then the all-star resorts i would definitely recommend guys it's happening I've only been walking for about two minutes and it's getting really bad again. Oh, it's whenever I go out. I've got to stop going out, guys. So I was going to grab something to take back to the room, but it is now torrential rain. So I'm just going to eat here. The tuna, the plant-based tuna sandwiches are kept in the fridges and they give you like the date to use them by and when they were prepared. Um, but the salad is made fresh for you. So I went for the salad. It looks amazing. It's like a really big portion. You get onions, olives, chickpeas, lettuce, cucumber, tomato, plant-based tuna and pita bread. So it's like a really filling type salad. So I'm going to dive into that now. Mm. It comes with a really, really nice vinaigrette. And what's great is they make it all right in front of you. And in fact, my um, server went and washed our hands, put different gloves on. So they're really conscientious of doing things for vegans so there's no cross-contamination. Um, but it's really well dressed, very, very tasty. It's a massive portion and it was $10.99. So the salad was really, really tasty. It was a massive portion, I could not finish it. What was really great is they asked you when they were making it, do you want all the elements? So you could say like no tomato or not much vinaigrette. You could customize it to what you want, which I really, really liked. Um, and it was so, so filling. Loads of fresh ingredients. And it's sometimes it's nice to be able to have like lots of veggies and fresh, uh, fresh food instead of like fast food so really good option really impressed for a quick service at a hotel i just thought it'd be more like fast food like pizzas burgers things like that but they seem to have a wide variety of options which is really really good and it's open really late all day we have breakfast lunch and dinner so it's perfect it had stopped raining a little bit it's getting a bit bad again but i think i'm going to try and get back to the room <laughs> Um, I think I'm going to have to take a cardigan with me to the cinema, which who, who knew we'd have to take layers? I think it, it's quite, you're getting cold enough to need a layer. <laughs> Walking back from the food court to my room, my trainers got a bit wet and trainers when they're wet are the absolute worst. So I'm leaving them here so they don't get worse. I've slipped into my Teva sandals. When it's raining, sandals are the way to go because trainers can take so long to dry out and it's a nightmare so i definitely recommend bringing some comfortable sandals with you i have these tevas and they also do up so my ufus are so comfy but in the rain your feet slide about on them so can't wear them so i've got for me tevas and hopefully that's the good solution for the rain i've been using them the past couple of days and that seems to be the way forward <laughs> So these are my Teva sandals and they do up which is super comfy and really really handy in this rain. So I have just arrived at Disney Springs, right behind me is the Orange Garage, that's where I've parked today. I normally park in line but Orange is right next to everywhere I want. Over here is Everglades Donuts which is where I'm going to go now and then over here is the cinema. So I've just bought my ticket and I'll go to the 6 day showing, I'll see how they run, it's kind of like a whodunit type film. Um, I'm going to go in Everglades now to get the purple rain. 
So I got the purple topper, which is a purple chai tea made with coconut milk, and then you get a purple oob vegan donut on top. I asked them to box it because I don't know if I'm going to eat it now. I might have it for breakfast. But the chai is really interesting because you've got the chai, but you also get like a toasted coconut flavour. So it's really, really unique, and I'm really enjoying it. So we're going to head into the cinema now and relax and get ready for the film. I love going to the cinema. I always go whenever I come to Florida, or in fact, whenever I go abroad, I always go to the cinema, apart from Disneyland Paris, because all the films are in French, and unfortunately, I don't speak French. <laughs> Two hours later. So that was a super nice cinema. You had like actual like armchair recliners, which was super, super comfy. Um, I think I was tired than I thought, because I kept dozing off. So from what I saw of the film, it was great. <laughs> Well, I did like, ugh, kept nodding off because it was just super, super comfy, but amazing cinema. Definitely worth coming to AMC if you can. They have like 24 screens. They show obviously current releases, but they also show classics. They show Disney stuff. Definitely worth coming here for a little break. Something a bit different during your trip. So it's not strong at the moment have their monthly change of flavors. And the current one is from and chocolate hazelnut and strawberry, which sounds absolutely incredible. So on my way out, I have to pass by salt and straw. I've been desperate to come here and try their ice cream. They have a seasonal flavor at the moment, which sounds absolutely incredible. So I'm going to grab some of that and a little sweet treat before we go to the hotel. So I went into salt and straw and I got some ice cream for my way home. What's amazing is you get unlimited samples. So there were four different vegan flavors. There was one that was like a Thai curry, which was super interesting. It wasn't spicy, but it was very savory, which is unusual. There's a the freckled mint chop chip, which is your classic chop chip mint flavor. And then I've got the roasted pineapple coconut sherbet, and then the seasonal flavor, which is a plum and chocolate shortbread. Amazing, the samples were actually really big, and I was like, I can't cope. But this is really, really nice ice cream the service is great there is a little queue because you get to sample so of course some people would have loads of samples um, but it's a really great sweet treat to have so definitely come by salt straw if you're in Disney Spring so my salt and straw ice cream was really good the plum one was mostly a plum flavor little flecks of chocolate and then crumbs of cookie which was really nice and then the pineapple and coconut one didn't taste strongly of either of those flavors it was more tropical which was really really good but Disney Springs is great for coming out in the evenings there's lots of live entertainment there's the cinema there's bowling restaurant shops there's so much to do here so it's definitely worth coming down here on the trip I'm gonna come back again because um there's some more shops that I want to look in. There's so much to see at Disney Springs. And there's some really great Disney shops, which have kind of like unique merchandise. I love going to the dress shop. Um, the other day I had my Dapper Dan's dress on and that's from that collection. So definitely gotta go check that out. So today has been a fantastic day. I can't believe I got so much done in Animal Kingdom in just a morning. I managed to do the safari, which was amazing as always. I then got to go on the two rides in Pandora again one last time. Saw the festival the Lion King show which is always so uplifting had the most amazing lunch in Tiffin's I keep saying all the food is amazing <laughs> and I have been lucky I've had really great food but I will do a separate video talking about the rankings of the food and where I would recommend where I would avoid because at the moment I'm just like everything is amazing <laughs> and it's not very helpful um, and then I came back had a little rest ironically today the rain was typical it kind of let, rained for like an hour or so then stopped so <laughs> So you could have gone somewhere this evening and seen fireworks, but it is what it is. Actually, on my way back from Disney Springs, I did see harmonious fireworks going off. So that was so exciting. As I'm entering the second week at Disney, I'm hoping to be able to go to these evening firework shows, which will be awesome. Tomorrow, I'm actually going to have a more relaxing day. I'm going to Epcot, but I'm going to focus on food and wine. So there's going to be a lot of eating, but it's going to be amazing. I'm so excited. There's like eight vegan options or something crazy. So I'm, I'm sure I can't eat all eight options, but <laughs> we'll see what we can get through. And um, yeah, I'm just looking forward to having like a nice little easy relaxing day. I think it'll be really fun. But thank you so much for watching this video and until next time I hope you have a most magical day. Bye bye.